are generally associated with the warm and shallow waters of the tropics, but the world of corals extends much further. They are also found in the cold and dark depths of the ocean. The cold water corals living there form reefs several kilometers long and provide a habitat for a large diversity of other animals. This makes them unique ecosystems in the deep sea. Cold water corals live in total darkness. In contrast to warm water corals, they do not act as hosts to light-dependent algae, so they are not limited to the up 100 meters of the water column that is penetrated by light. Cold water corals live in water depths of greater than 1,000 meters, at temperatures below 13 degrees, and feed on very small organisms, which they capture with their tentacles. Warm water corals are limited to the tropical and subtropical latitudes. Only here can they find prevailing water temperatures above 20 degrees, which they need to live and form extensive reefs. Cold water corals, however, live in the world's oceans and at almost all latitudes. Their occurrence extends from the Arctic Circle through the temperature and tropical latitudes and down to the Antarctic Circle in the south. Today, the existence of cold water corals is seriously threatened. Part of the reason is related to increased pollution and littering of the world's oceans. But above all, it is the fisheries that are becoming an imminent threat for them. Since the 1990s, commercial fisheries have been expanding from the severely exhausted shelf seas into ever deeper regions of the oceans, where cold water coral reefs provide spawning and nursery grounds for many species of fish. Bottom trawling nets are primarily used here, which are towed with tons of weights for many kilometers over the seafloor. This activity leaves furrows several meters wide, and the cold water corals living on the seafloor are torn up and destroyed. In some regions of the Earth today, up to 50% of the cold water coral reefs have already been severely damaged. This problem is especially critical because cold water corals only grow a few millimeters each year and so they require centuries to recover from this damage. It has been known for over 200 years that corals also live in the dark and cold regions of the ocean. But these extraordinary ecosystems have only been studied in detail and their global distribution documented over the past 20 years. Only with the technological development of undersea robots like those available at the Bremen Research Center Marum, has it been possible to bring light to the darkness of the deep sea?